Hey everyone, welcome to Wicode, where in this video we're going to learn what local and global npm packages are, the difference between local and global packages, where both are installed, and when to install an npm package locally versus globally. So to better demonstrate local and global packages with npm, let's create an npm package by creating a directory called local global and then running npm init y. The command npm init y creates a package.json file and supplies it with default information about this project. This package.json file will list our local installations. Now let's start this video by talking about local packages. So in npm, a local package is a package that is installed by using npm install and then providing the package name. Packages installed locally are only available to the project they were installed under. For example, we can install express locally like so. When a package is installed locally, it is listed inside package.json under dependencies or dev dependencies. Inside package.json, let's look for express. So, express is only available to this project as it was installed locally. If we created another npm project, say called local global 2, and tried to require express, we would get a module not found error. We can also install packages locally as a dev dependency by tagging on save dev to npm install. So let's do this with eslint. And now inside package.json, eslint should be listed under dev dependencies. And packages listed under dev dependency mean that they are required for development of the project, but they are not needed by the project when it is out in production. But so this package.json file lists our local installations, but when packages are installed locally, where are they actually installed? Well, when packages are installed locally, they are placed inside the folder node modules. So node modules right here. The node modules folder is what NPM uses to keep track of packages that have been installed locally. When packages are installed locally from NPM, they are copied into the node modules folder. Node then looks inside node modules for a specific package when it is required. For example, if we create an index.js file and require express, Node will look for Express inside Node modules. Also, the contents of Node modules changes whenever the dependencies are changed in packs.json and npm install is ran. Also, if we look inside Node modules here, we will see a lot more packages besides Express in ESLint. And this is because as of npm version 3, the dependencies of project dependencies, or sub-dependencies, are installed at top level. Only when there are conflicts, the sub-dependencies will be installed at deeper levels. So that's it with local packages. But what are global packages? Well, global packages are only present in a single place in the system. They're installed by tagging on dash G to npm install. So let's install the package nodemon globally. And so where are global packages installed? Well, we can see where global packages are installed in a system by running npm root and then dash G. The npm root command prints the effective node modules folder to the console. If we tag on dash g, it prints the location of the global node modules. The output from this command will defer depending on the operating system of the computer and the way that node was installed. For example, if nvm is listed in the path, node was most likely installed through nvm. In my example, I have nvm and that's installed node version 14.15.3. And so we can also list global packages. So global packages present on a system can be listed by the command npm ls dash g and then depth zero. The npm ls command lists installed packages. Tagging on dash g lists the global packages and dash dash depth determines how far down the dependency tree we want to go. Providing depth the value zero tells npm to display just the top level packages and not any sub-dependencies. So that's why we get these three here. And so now the important question is, when should we install a package locally or globally? Well, as a general rule, all packages should be installed locally. And this is because installing packages locally allows for different versions of a package to be used in different projects. If several projects all relied on a global package and that package was updated, there could be some breaking changes. But this doesn't mean a package should never be installed globally. A package should be installed globally when it contains an executable that is run from the CLI 
and is reused across multiple projects. For example, a common package to be installed globally is Nodemon, a tool that automatically restarts a Node application after files have been changed. But there we have it. The ability to install NPM packages locally and globally is extremely useful. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, also check out the blog version of this video in the link in the link in the description. Uh, but besides that, I want to thank you for watching and subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a good one.